Polycythemia vera, or PV, is a rare chronic blood cancer in which the bone marrow produces too many blood cells, particularly red blood cells. People with PV may also experience troublesome PV-related symptoms. We know that PV can be a progressive disease, that is, that it may worsen over time. Fortunately, we can keep track of changes in PV by watching various aspects of your condition. Specifically, we can track blood counts, symptoms, and the size of the spleen to get a sense of what's happening inside the body. Blood counts could change in a few different ways. For example, your hematocrit, a measure of the percentage of red blood cells in your blood, may start to increase over time. Alternatively, your hematocrit might decrease over time or remain unchanged. Similarly, there may be changes in your white blood cell count or platelet count over time. Be sure to discuss any changes with your healthcare professional. As with blood counts, symptoms are another aspect of PV that may change over time. Although some people with PV may not have symptoms, others have symptoms that interfere with their daily lives. Common symptoms of PV include fatigue, filling up quickly when you eat, also called early satiety, which can be associated with an enlarged spleen, abdominal discomfort, which can also be caused by enlarged spleen, inactivity, brain fog, or trouble concentrating as compared to before your PV diagnosis, night sweats, itching, also called pruritus, bone pain, diffuse, not joint pain or arthritis, fever higher than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and unintentional weight loss within the last six months. Let's look at how symptoms in PV can change over time. Symptoms that have been stable may become more severe. For example, itchy may become even more bothersome. This is just one example of how PV symptoms might change. Every PV journey is unique. Your individual PV experience may vary. Similarly, symptoms that you didn't have before may now be present. For example, you may start to experience a new symptom, like night sweats. However, in some cases, symptoms that you had been experiencing may stabilize. It's important to note that even though your blood counts may be under control, symptoms may not follow suit. In addition to blood counts and symptoms, spleen size is another aspect of your PV that we can track to monitor how your condition may be changing over time. If you have PV, your spleen may become enlarged. This is called splenomegaly. Your healthcare professional can check your spleen size by gently feeling or palpating your upper left abdominal area. Because it can sometimes be difficult to accurately measure spleen size through physical exam alone, your healthcare professional may order an imaging test, such as an ultrasound, a CT scan, or an MRI scan. Because there are several aspects of PV that can change over time, it's important to take an active role in your care by partnering with your care team to watch out for any changes. For example, your healthcare professional may order lab tests to keep an eye on blood counts, and he or she may examine your spleen on a regular basis. You can request copies of any lab or exam results and track them on your own. When it comes to symptoms, however, you are the best measure of how you are feeling and what may be changing. That's why it's important for patients with PV to directly track their own symptoms and share those results with their care team. Be sure to tell your healthcare professional about any and all changes to your symptoms, no matter how minor, even if you don't think they are related to your PV. Your care team may have you document changes in your PV symptoms by having you complete a form called the MPN10 when you go in for an office visit. But you can also monitor your symptoms and changes at home. One resource for this is a customized symptom guide available at takeactionpv.com. It's important to share specific details of your symptoms with your care team rather than just saying things like, I'm doing okay, or things are pretty much the same. Another helpful approach can be to focus on functional effects of symptoms. For example, what could you do three months ago that your symptoms are preventing you from doing now? As your PV changes, it is possible that your care team may decide to make changes in your care management plan. Sharing information with your care team about your symptoms and how they are changing can help you partner with your care team and have more informed discussions. Remember, it's never a waste of our time to hear about any changes in your condition. 
no matter how small they are. That's because they could, in fact, be related to your PV. So be specific. And don't be afraid to talk to us. That's what we're here for.